Hello there, welcome to Blink and Beep. In this video, I will be demonstrating the new intruder alarm system that I purchased for my home. Uh, the product is from Eurovigil, which is part of uh, Eureka Forbes. Uh, so, Eurovigil is known for its uh, uh, alarm systems uh, for and home safety. Um, so, the model number is Eurovigil iGuard 100. So, this is a uh, wired model and uh, hence more reliable than the wireless in my opinion also the uh, cost is cheaper than the wireless model uh, in fact this is the basic model that i've got here apart from this there is also two more wired models available i got 200 and i got 350 so the wireless model is called i got 400 and that's the costliest in the series um, it is good to opt for uh, uh, wired model since you don't have to worry about the wireless signal strength uh, between the sensors and the system uh, but the catch is that installing wired models uh, in already constructed home could be very difficult uh, and even might be impossible so if you are already a homeowner the only choice you could get is the wireless model uh, so i decided that i will be installing the intruder alarm system in my home when it was under construction um, and so all the wiring and uh, pipes were laid during the civil work itself, which is a cost saver for me and that helped me in getting the wired model with all the basic features that one would look for in an alarm system. Uh, so now let's get to the site. Okay, so here we have the technical specifications, the dimensions, uh, current draw, so it's 110 MA. Uh, power supply and the outputs, uh, operating environment, and relative humidity. Uh, yep. And okay. So the contents. So it has a cabinet, like you said. So it's like the circuit box. Uh, a keypad, LED keypad, one number, a lock and key, um, one number free panic switch two numbers free hooter one number uh, transformer 16.5 uh, volts transformer that's one number uh, a battery and a free magnetic contact that's one number okay so that's for what's in the box and now it's time to get into the box okay it's time for unboxing uh, I'm sorry about the uh, box. It's a bit damaged because I purchased it a long time ago and it's been sitting in the loft for a long time. So, sorry about that. Apart from that, this is a very brand new one. Okay, here we go. Uh, so it comes with a very big instruction manual. So uh, I'll leave it for the technical people. Uh, so this is the panel that we were talking about. So right now if you see I just have the door for this panel because the actual panel is fit into the wall during the civil work. So that's it about the panel. Alright, so these are the contents of the box. Um, so let's start with the keypad wherein you can put in different combinations. Um, so I will explain in detail once the installation is done. Um, that follows in the same video. And the footer. That's heavy. Right. It says DC 12 volt. So this goes in the outdoor. Okay. Um, it's heavy. So here's the battery. Um, so it's sealed rechargeable battery. And there's the technical specifications. Alright. That's the warranty sticker. Okay. It's heavy. 
Mm. Here we have the transformer. And of course, the main uh, motherboard or chip, whatever you want to call it. So I'm not going. I'm, I'm not going to go into uh, this because I'm not sure about how it works. Mm, keeping that aside, so we have the. I think this is the uh, magnetic contacts. So we get one free with the box. Uh, the cost is. For that as well, and the panic switch. So, I don't open this now, but I'll show it once the installation is done. So, we have two panic switches and the lock and key set that's for the panel box, I guess. All right, so we have covered what's in the box, and we'll be covering how it works once the installation is complete. All right, the installation is complete, and let's take a look at the components that we just saw earlier. So let's start with the panel. Uh, and as you can see it is all neatly tucked and packed inside the wall and can be planned to place behind the door such that it is hidden when the door is open that way it helps you to retain the looks of your beautiful house let's see what we got here so here are the uh, components that we saw while we were unboxing the kit so basically the battery the transformer uh, the chip the motherboard and all those sort of things on the wirings so all these uh, complications are being tagged neatly inside this panel so that you don't have to worry like where to place it or what to do with all these things so and the good thing is that you also get a pair of keys so that you can just lock them and uh, you know, keep the key aside safely and uh, one more important thing is that you don't have to do anything with this panel unless if any service or any issues you know uh, that needs to be attended and even for that only a technical person would be able to help you with so i really don't see any other use so probably the best thing is to just lock them and uh, keep the keys away such that it is kept safe and now let's move to the keypad so as we see here are the indications uh, the tick mark which means that the lock is not enabled right now and um, the lock symbol that means when that is turned on it means the lock is enabled and the other two things indicating the power supply and all those things and uh, here you see a few numbers one two three four until eight so that is for configuring the door sensors right now i have it configured for like three doors and uh, right now all the doors are closed so that means none of the indications are on i will show you like what happens when i open one of the door so I'm about to open the door and what should happen is that you should hear a beep sound and also one of the uh, LED indications for these numbers should come up. Yeah, there you go. So closing it back. So as you saw, if any one of the door is open, you see the number turned on and that means any or some doors are open and at that particular time the uh, tick mark won't be enabled that means that you are not ready to turn on the alarm so you need to make sure that all the doors are closed and then you can come here to enable your alarm so how the alarm system knows that the door is open is based upon the uh, sensor the door sensor that has been installed inside the door let me quickly show you how the sensor works it has two parts uh, one fixed and the other one movable so the movable one is fixed in the door and the fixed one is uh, placed in the uh, wooden frame of your door so basically when they come together it closes the circuit and it is considered that the door is closed now moving back to the keypad 
if you see any of the number is lit in red it means your door is open uh, once you make sure that no doors are open you can go ahead and uh, lock your house by long pressing number five and when you do that you hear a beep sound um, like for around 30 seconds which means that you have 30 seconds left before the alarm is enabled let me show you how yeah so it beeps for 30 seconds and uh, it should stop Yep, there you go. The locks are enabled, and uh, here is indication for that. To unlock it, you key in your four digit key uh, the password, and the system unlocks immediately. Yep, so right now I just unlocked, and there is your indication the green tick, so which means the alarms are disabled now. Uh, so let me explain why you get a 30 second window when you lock your house. The reason is simple. Imagine that you are leaving your house which means you want to have the alarm enabled. Uh, the keypad is still inside your house and you won't be able to access it once you get out of your house. So this 30 second delay gives you enough time to enable the alarm and then get out of your house. That means you get a short window to close and lock your main door. Also, the alarm goes off immediately as soon as you open any one of your doors. But how do you get into your house without triggering the alarm? Well, again, you get a buffer time when you open your main door. And that's only for the main door. Um, so, you, with the buffer time, you can come in. Uh, you can enter your four-digit password. And that way, you can ha have your uh, alarm disabled. But that is not the case for the other doors. Say for example, you have the door sensors fit in your back door and if you try to open them, the alarm goes off immediately. There is no buffer time for other doors. So usually the technician who installs the alarm panel configures the sensors for your doors accordingly. Also, this type of sensor can be fit not just in doors, even in windows. Also, there is a heavy duty type sensor that can be fit for metal door types as well. Um, Please make sure not to open the doors when the alarm is active because if you open your doors the hooter is gonna go boom and your neighbors are not gonna be happy when they come to know that it is a false alarm and repeating the mistake is gonna make your neighbors think that it is always a false alarm and you might not get help if you're really in a situation in future. The hooter is installed outside your house and definitely within your compound and safe from water or rain. This alarm system is also capable of having motion sensors installed in your house for additional security. Uh, but I haven't got one and so I can't demo it right now. But you do get the option to turn on or off the motion sensor when you turn the alarm system. So you can decide whether you want only the door sensors or the other sensors to be active or both your door sensors, the motion sensors. So you can configure them as per your need. The motion sensor actually works intelligently in such a way that you won't get false alarms for your pets walking around and instead it can detect human activities clearly which is a good thing. Uh, now let's see how to enable or disable motion sensor for your alarm. As we saw earlier uh, long pressing the number 5 enables your alarm. What I meant by that is it enables all your door sensors. Similarly, you get to long press number 4 which activates both door and motion sensors. So depending on what sensors you want to be active, you can press the button and enable the alarm as per your need. Simple as that. Uh, moving on, you get two emergency switches which you can fix it in any room as per your need. So I got one here in my kitchen and clicking on which will enable the alarm and the footer goes boom. So the use of this button is for uh, any emergency which could be medical or a threat or any such cases which you may encounter which is not related to the sensors that you got installed. That is something brilliant I would say. Not only the alarm fires the hooter which trust me guys it is loud as hell and your neighbors will definitely be pissed at you if it is a false alarm. 
Apart from all this, you can opt in to connect your alarm with your landline or GSM and you will get notified about any incidents through phone call from Eurovigil dedicated customer care. It doesn't come as a package and you will have to pay extra for that feature which is again optional. When it comes to sensors, you can choose not just door and motion sensors, you can also have a few more sensors. One is like uh, the gas leakage, uh, so that is also a good thing to have. That being said, you are at the end of this video and I believe this was a useful one, hope you liked it. So the only thing is that you have to plan your alarm needs as you construct your house so that it would be easy to install this wired version. If not, you might have to go for hybrid which is a combination of wired and wireless sensors or there is another model which is completely wireless but you would have guessed by now the cheapest model is the wired one compared to the others. It is always good to be precautious and investing in safety and security for your loved ones is never a waste. So see you in another video, more videos in my channel, please do watch and comment your thoughts. Thank you. Bye bye.